You know, reducing calorie intake is what most do in an attempt to lose or maintain weight. But simply reducing the number of calories you consume won't necessarily get you to or keep you at your goals. I think we've all learned by now that starvation diets don't work over the long term. There are much healthier ways to control your weight that are also more sustainable and effective. It's about being smart about the amount of calories you consume, when you consume them, as well as the type of calories you consume. And it really boils down to what I call an individualized or personalized plan for man managing calories. We're all different, but we all need to make sure we're getting enough energy when we need it without consistently going overboard. So what are some things that, that I do to accomplish this? What's worked for me is paying attention to portion control, paying more attention to my sugar intake. And in the past, I've tracked calories, but I don't really do that anymore. Instead, I've adopted intermittent fasting for the past three years or more. So for portion control, you could try things like boxing up a portion of your meal before you start eating when you're dining out. Portion sizes at restaurants are typically large at most places, and if you dive right in, there's a greater chance that you'll eat past the point of being full. And when eating at home, avoid eating directly from the box or bag, or carton or container. Use a plate or a bowl instead. Each of these techniques is a way of defining how much you intend to eat versus mindlessly eating whatever is in front of you. When it comes to sugar intake, many people can make great strides by simply reducing the amount of sugary drinks they consume. Try not to drink your calories. They go down a lot easier when you drink them. And if you have a sweet tooth like I do, take a smaller amount with you. So for example, I love dark, dark chocolate almonds. So I no longer take the entire bag to work with me with the intent of eating just a few because I found that, that just a few often turned into almost the entire bag. So now I only take 10 or so just to satisfy that sweet tooth after lunch. And I also try to limit the amount of sweets in our house, but this is a constant struggle because we have kids, right? As I said though, you know, I used to track my calories, but that just became too cumbersome for me. On occasion though, I do still track the amount of added sugars that I consume. The American Heart Association recommends men consume no more than 9 teaspoons or 36 grams of added sugar per day. That's about 150 calories. For women, the number is lower. It's 6 teaspoons or 25 grams per day, which is about 100 calories. Consider now that, that one 12 ounce, can, 12 ounce can of soda contains 8 teaspoons or 32 grams of added sugar. So going back to the earlier point about drinking your calories, that's almost the whole day's allotment in one single drink. One final thing I do, and I think this has had a huge positive influence in my personal calorie, calorie management, and that's intermittent fasting. It helps me to manage the amount I consume each day. It keeps me from constantly snacking throughout the day, which would keep my insulin levels relatively high all day long, which is also a contributing factor in weight gain. And it's made me more aware and conscious when I eat. So those are just a few of the things that I do. Maybe some of these things could be helpful for you as well. But again, you know, it's important to think about the nutrition choices we make and the goals that we have as they relate to our environment, things that we can control, the support systems that we have, and so forth. So that's all for now. Coach T, out.